guys, it's Lee, and I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Everything in this haul came from stores in York, Pennsylvania. As per usual, after I show you everything I picked up, I will then have pictures and video of items I saw in the store that I didn't need, but I thought you might like to see them. So make sure you hang around and check those out. I was in Walmart the other day, and I noticed that at least the East York Walmart is clearancing the Barilla Ready Pasta. So I'm wondering if that's why they're in the Dollar Tree. Maybe they're just being discontinued. I haven't looked into it. It's just a thought I had. Still, they were on clearance for $1.33, and I was able to pick up more of them at $1.25. So I got more of the elbows. Uh, how many did I get of those? Three of the elbow. And I got three of the rotini as well. So we are stocked up on that. They expire or their use by date is September 2023 for the rotini and the same for the elbows. So they'll be good for a little while. I guess I should scoot them where you can see them. I picked up a tradi traditional strawberry cake mix because probably next week I'm going to try out, are they close by? No, they're not. The heart-shaped pans I got in my last haul, the metal ones. So I picked up some pink cake mix, you know, for Valentine's Day. I also, at Target, picked up some pink frosting to go on them, so. I didn't think about it while I was at Dollar Tree. Sometimes they have colored frosting. I have red from there. But yeah, I didn't think about it. I just got the cake mix. I grabbed some more. I found some more of the Nutro Ultra Chicken Entree for dogs. My chihuahuas really like this and it is good until July of this year. Yep, they all say July, so they're good for a while. And I just went ahead and got them. These are over $2. I think it was $2.20 something at Petco or PetSmart. I looked online. So yeah, I got six of those. Yep, six of those. I also got one box of Good and Plenty for my daughter because she really likes Good and Plenty. So I grabbed one of those for her. I bought a couple of books. This one I have purchased in the past and I got these for someone specific. So I got this Whole30 Friends and Family Cookbook. 100 and 50 recipes for every social occasion. There's ranch coleslaw, fruit and RX, what did that say? Fruit and RX bar kebabs, peach tea, Cajun rub, chicken wings. This was originally $30. So to go with that, I also picked up this Whole 30s Food Freedom Forever, letting go of bad habits, guilt, and anxiety around food. They're both by Melissa, well this says Melissa Hartwig and that says Melissa Hartwig Urban. So yeah, I just picked up this to go along with that one. This was originally $17.99. I also picked up four more of these baskets. I got these in my last haul. I discovered that they fit perfectly on the little shelf above my washer and dryer. So I used the pink ones and some of the gray ones there, um, but I did pick up a few more when I saw them. They only had them in the green and gray where I was, but these are a nice size basket, so I got some extras of those. And then I saw this mailer, and I picked up one. It's paper, and there's like a little bit of padding in there, so I know this will come in handy when I'm mailing stuff. And it's a nice size envelope, so I went ahead and picked it up. I just got one of those. I don't know where to put that. Then I bought these rhinestones, and for the life of me, I have no idea why, but I kind of really like the container they're in. It just says rhinestone gems. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these, but I liked this little jar, so I picked it up. Then I got this little decor piece for my daughter. It says, yes, I really do need all of these cats. I mean, she only has two, but still, I thought that was really cute and kind of funny. So I picked this up. I got one Valentine's Day item, and it was these stickers. It's a 29-piece 
set of stickers and they're so cute. I love the little kitty cats on there. They're just really adorable. So I got these. And then I picked up this pad. It is a crafting paper pad and it has all these little designs in there and I just love them. They're so pretty. Um, what do you do with this kind of stuff? I just love the little squirrels. That's my daughter's nickname from when she was very tiny. The raccoons, the mushrooms. I just thought it was really cute. And it is 16 sheets, eight designs, and they are five by seven. I guess you could put them in a frame. Yeah, I don't know. I just really liked it. So I got it. They had another one, and I did take a picture of that one so you guys could see it. Next, I found these little squishies. Uh, this is a globby squish man and it says filled with squishy jelly beads those are the kind of squishies I like I have two of them <laughs> I'm squishing one behind the camera I like the gel beads or the bead squishies and I got these two there was at least one other color yellow maybe I don't know but I just picked up these two Next I got these marigold seeds and I did take a picture of all the seeds the store had out, you know, in these big seed packets. Um, I've discovered that I really like marigolds and they don't take a lot of work. So <laughs> I was going to see if I could grow them from seed because I feel like it would be a lot cheaper than buying them at the, the well, where do we get them? Either Lowe's or Home Depot last year. So we'll see what happens with that. The only thing is that these will all be the same. Last year I got different colors, but I could grow my own and just pick up a few of the different colored ones. And for the flowers, I also got these Job's Fertilizer Spikes, and it says for prolific flowering plants. You get 30 in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll figure it out when it's time how many you're supposed to put in the pots, but... I got those. I have not been buying a lot of hand soap um, because we just have so much, or we did, we're running low now. And by running low, we still have plenty. But I did wanna try these. This is the Bolero Coconut Milk and Honey. I will say that I don't have a lot of, well, it's not that I don't have luck with it. I usually don't really care that much for the Bolero products, but this is hand soap, so I'm hoping it should be okay. So I got that one. I got peony and pear, and then I got watermelon hibiscus. Uh, did I say they're eight fluid ounces? They're eight fluid ounces. I just got one of each of those. In my last haul, I showed you the layer eight sun hats for, it said for little boys because they were blue. Well today, and if you are in the area, these are at the store on Route 30 by Staples. And I think there's a Goodwill in there and there's also an Aldi in there. So I found the ones, they say Layer 8 Girls and they are a lavender color. I thought these were really nice. These are, are they toddler size like the other ones? Oh, these are infant. Ah, these are infant size. So yeah, these are smaller, but that's okay. I picked up three. I can save them for baby shower gifts. I just thought they were super cute. Let me open one like I did in the last haul. This is what they look like. They have the little chin strap as well. And they're, you know, just a nice little bucket hat to keep the sun off of your baby. Super cute. Next I found these two-in-one shampoo and conditioner bars. I got one in... Um, coconut scented, sorry, and one in lavender. I thought my husband could use these, maybe my son. Uh, we'll see. I just thought they were kind of interesting. So I got those. They have really short hair, that's why. I was thinking they could use them. I picked up these styluses, and you get two per pack. Um, I don't really need another stylus, but I really like the color. They are also pens, so I grabbed them to keep, you know, maybe put one in my purse. I just thought they were really pretty. I like the sparkles. Can you see those sparkles? And the pen colors. So I got these. I can always use a stylus, but you know. So then I found these 
crazy socks. Uh, they were in two different stores. I can't remember which store was which. But anyway, this was at both stores. And it is the um, Express Yourself Jeopardy socks. And they say they fit men's sizes, men's shoe size 6 to 12. So I got the Jeopardy socks. The South Park socks. I think, is that Cartman? I don't know them that well. But anyway, I got these. I got the Air Force socks. We have family members in the Air Force and retired Air Force. And then I got the chess socks. So these three were at two different stores and at the last store, I'm thinking it was Manchester. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, at the other store they had, it could have been Route 30. Anyway, they had the chess ones at a different store, so. I picked up the socks, and you know me, I love to pick up socks. Then I saw this shower jelly. I've uh, never seen this before, at least if I have, I don't remember it. And it's cucumber melon, eight fluid ounces, and it says, add a splash of fun to your daily bath or shower with this cleansing shower jelly. For an added boost, the shower jelly delivers skin softening aloe as it cleanses. Um, looked interesting. I picked up two. I like cucumber melon scent, so I am definitely gonna give these a shot. Um, yeah, I thought they were really kind of cool. These were at the Manchester store. So in my last haul, I told you I found the one Mrs. Myers Clean Day Scented Wood Bead Diffuser at, yeah, at the Queen Street store, just kind of sitting randomly on a shelf. So I went back to that store, um, you know, just to do my rounds, right? And I found two just randomly sitting on a shelf. Not where you would think the air fresheners or diffusers are. They were just sitting on a random shelf. So I bought both of them. I like the scent. I put this in my closet. Um, it's not like a traditional um, lavender scent, but it is really nice. Or to me, it didn't seem like a traditional, traditional lavender scent. Uh, but I did like it. So I, I just bought these two because they were still because they were there and I really like it. So I got those. And then in the Manchester store, over where you would think they would be, you know, in the if, if you walk in, it's the aisle all the way to the left towards the back of the store. Anyway, yesterday they still had um, several of these left, but I picked up two of the honeysuckle scent. I have said this before, a lot of Florals give me a headache. Not lavender for some reason, but a lot of other ones and honeysuckle might. So I'm going to try it out and if I don't like it, then I will give it to my son. He, or my daughter probably, if I can't stand it, she probably wouldn't be able to either, but I'll give it to one of my boys. Um, I did get two of them. And um, what you do is you open this up. The scent beads are in a plastic bag you take them out put the beads in and then you can twist this and open the holes or leave them partially closed whatever you want to do check out my last video where I opened one up and showed you know showed the insides so I did get those you can't even see these let's see if I can adjust the camera I always start out with my camera way too close to the backsplash then I found this was also the Manchester store. This, what is it? They're just calling it wall decor. But it's a piggy. Look how cute that is. I gotta find a space in my office to hang this. And his brother. <laughs> I just think they're adorable. They have a um, twine hanger or jute. I don't know one of those words. I don't know which one it is. And I just thought they were too cute and you know that I could not pass up the piggies. And then the last items I picked up, I think it was Anna at Only In My Dreams that I saw haul this, I think. Um, but yeah, this is the Freeman Psst, <laughs> Smooth Dry Conditioner and it's unscented. I've never heard of a dry conditioner before, but um, this says, Lightweight argan oil detangles in between washes and it is fragrance free. Directions. 
Shake can and hold six to eight inches from hair, lift sections of dry hair, and lightly spray from mid lengths, mid lengths to end brush and style as desired. I didn't know this was a thing, but I bought two of them. This also was at the Manchester store, if I didn't say that. It's on the very bottom shelf where all of the hair stuff is, like shampoos and stuff. And that's everything. I'm looking around to make sure I, yep, that's everything I got this time around at, I don't know, four or five stores in York, Pennsylvania. And now I have those pictures and the video I took to show you items I didn't really want or need. So check those out and meet me right back here. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.